Chapter 28, Steering Systems and Integral Steering Gears. Day 3, Video 6, Adjusting Vertical Play. So one of the first measurements we took was the vertical play or the up and down movement that we've got in the steering knuckle to the steering axle. Uh, we need to limit the amount of play that we've got and it's generally right in the neighborhood of 30 thousandths of an inch. So very little play that we um, allow this knuckle to move up and down uh, with the steer axle. So how we would adjust that is with different thickness shims that we would put in between the steer axle and the steer knuckle. So in order to, to do that, we've taken the uh, plates off the top and the bottom. Uh, we've pushed out the uh, uh, draw keys that hold the kingpin in place, drove that kingpin down so it is below the top surface here of the uh, steer axle, so we can see it protruding through in the bottom, and then he's got a pry bar in here to pry up on that steer uh, knuckle to put all the clearance up here, and now whatever proper thickness of shim that we've determined with that measurement we took before, um, we can get these shims in thousandth to two to, you know, up to um, uh, several different thicknesses so we can accommodate uh, whatever type of in play, the vertical play that we've got, and then we can control that with a different sh a thickness of shim. So we'd lift up on it, slide that shim in here so that it's now lined up with the hole here um, through the uh, steering knuckle, drive that kingpin back up through, goes through the center of the shim, and now we've just uh, adjusted for that uh, the vertical play.